All right, uh, we have chosen to play first, have a really awkward hand. If we draw, you know, Swamp, Mountain, uh, we're probably golden. Uh -huh. But keeping a one lander on the play, I think, is awful dangerous. Sadly, we have to throw that back. God. Into a six card hand with one land. I think, sadly enough, we have to put this one back too. Um, it's basically the same hand as the other one, just one less, uh, one less card in it. Um, this is pretty miserable. I guess we'll just keep this. I mean, I guess he rolled down to five on game one, but I'm not, I'm not very optimistic for this hand. Yep. Okay. All right. It's kind of disappointing. Like, I think this deck is pretty solid. We have a ton of removal. Um, yeah, it's not good for us. Uh, if we drew a land there, we might have gotten out of this. Um, I think we just ditch Gutter Snipe, probably. Or Cobble Brute. Probably the Gutter Snipe. Kind of amazed he just didn't activate his key in there and hit me for five. I'm basically dead. I mean, really? Okay, well, at least we got a land here. Um, I guess we'll cast our Ash Zealot and get in for two points of damage, even though it's just going to get bounced next turn by the rock. Maybe he has like explosive impact and he's just leaving it up. I think, I mean, when your opponent has like one land, I think you just hit for five and kill him in four turns. If we draw a swamp here, we can put a stab wound on his rock. Um, all right. Well, we can't do that. At least we can Annihilating Fire um, the rock. Question is, do we kill that or um, this and hope to stab in this later? I think we just have to kill the rock. And then hopefully we draw a mountain for the, um, the key rune. Can't play Splatter Thug or Zealot. It'll just get bounced again. Sure. Hopefully he doesn't have a counterspell. Maybe he has bounce. That would also be bad for us. It's kind of like bounce. Okay. All right, well, um, we got a black mana, so that's good. Um, I think... Let's see, he's at 18. I think we just play Splatter Thug here. Um, uh, this is so awkward. It's awkward because, like, we have to, we pretty much have to Augur Spree now, the rock, when he replays it, because uh, if it stays out, it's just going to bounce all of our stuff, like, over and over and over. Um, and then we really, don't, really don't have a good answer for the, uh, the key run. Um, but it is what it is. And the, the worst thing is, I think he has Annihilating Fire, so I think we're just dead in like two or three turns. Okay, well, a land wasn't the worst there, because now we can Augur Spree this away. And play our Zealot and then hit for five.
We need to we need to draw another annihilating fire for this stupid key rune though. Like ASAP. He still has four cards in hand. Um, yeah, it looks like he's just going for the win now off Annihilating Fire. That's frustrating. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he doesn't have it then. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure why he... I guess he's just trying to race at this point. This hand is full of land. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now we have, uh, maybe he top decked it? I don't know. That's odd. Whatever. Um, I feel like we kind of got slow rolled there a bit. That's okay. Um, sad ending to a deck that I think was pretty sweet. Um, but sometimes you mold to five and don't get there on game three of round one. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.